Hello, Church. Today, I want to talk about the times we are in and the science of the rapture. First, let me start with a prayer. Dear Jesus, I pray for all of those who are watching this right now, that they would not be scared of these times, but be encouraged and excited for your coming of your church. We are at the times of the end, Lord, the, the times before the tribulation. And me, a person who believes in the pre-tribulation rapture, is excited for your coming, Lord. Please let this word bless people and encourage them, Lord. And please let us be pray for those who are left behind and pray for Israel and the Jews. In Jesus' name, amen. So, first I would like to start with Matthew 24, verse 4 through 13. And Jesus answered them and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many co will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Then they will deliver you up to the tribulation and kill you, and will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many, and because of lawlessness will will and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all of the world as witnesses to the nations, and then the end will come. <sighs> okay, let's start. So, do you not think we're at the beginning of the tribulation? Look at the times we are in. Israel just declared war on Hamas. Thousands have already died in that war. We pray for those people who are dead, or not dead, but those people who are in Israel, and we pray for their salvation and their peace to come into Israel. We also pray for those who are their enemies, that they would come to the salvation of Christ. But we pray for protection over those people of Israel right now. Other wars and rumors of wars. Ukraine has been under fire for so long. Do you not think that this is this this is the beginning of the tribulation where many wars will be throughout the world? Please understand the times and seasons we're in. <sighs> Another note talks about earthquakes. Do you not think we have been through so many earthquakes? We may not feel it here in Washington, but just today there was a 4.3 uh, 4.3 here in Washington. Not only that, in Afghanistan, yesterday, 2,000 people died in a tragic earthquake. We pray for those people and their suffering. So, Lord, or, so people, please understand what times we are in. 47 earthquakes have already taken place on Sunday and Monday. Just these two days. 47 earthquakes. Dozens of those were. 5.0 earthquakes. It's crazy. We are also on the verge of a famine. The food prices keep going up, and soon the famines will continue, even in America. So please, I pray and understand that we are very close to the rapture. But please, let my words not fear put fear in you, but let it be encouragement. Let me read to you let me read to you Luke 21. Luke 21, 25 through 28. And there will be signs in the sun and the moon, and in the stars on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. 
Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift your head, because your redemption draws near. Now when these things begin to happen, we are at the beginning of this tribulation. Do you not understand? Please understand that we, our redemption draws near. Our rapture is coming very soon. Be encouraged. Do not have fear. If you are in the Lord, you are, should be excited for His coming. Please. But we need to pray for all those who are left behind. Anyone who does not or are not in Jesus, please come to His peace. Please come to His love right now. In Jesus' name, I pray that over you, that you will come to His love. All you must do is just accept Him. Accept Him, repent of your sins, and follow Him until our, the coming of Him. The next verse I want to tell you is First Thessalonians, Thessalonians 5, uh, what's it, 1 through 11. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourself know perfectly that the, the day of the Lord so comes a thief in the night. For when they say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and sh they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so this day should not overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the days. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who are sleep sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love as a helmet the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us. But whether we wake up, wake or sleep, we shall live together with him. Therefore comfort one each other, and edify one another, just as you also are doing. <sighs> people, that should be encouragement to you. We are not we are not a people of darkness. And if you are, please wake up and understand that Jesus is coming soon. We are the sons of light. Let us be woken up and not let his coming be like a thief in the night. The tribulation will come suddenly. They will say peace and safety and sudden destruction will come upon them. Please understand that we need to be with Jesus. And we need to have our eyes in the sky, not on earth, not in the world. Please understand that you will be encouraged as you look towards Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let's see, let me... 1 Corinthians, let me say this one. 1 Corinthians. <clears throat> Let's see, 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 52. Now this I say, or 50 through 52. Now this I say, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the corruption inherit, incor the, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery: we shall not all sleep, but we will, we will shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Please understand, we will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. It will happen so quickly, we cannot prepare for it. We cannot see Lord and say, oh Lord, please save me. You have to say that before He comes. He will come so quickly, you will not be ready. So please, be ready for His coming. Please, we will be transformed so beautifully into our new bodies in heaven. Please, I do not wish that you were stuck on this earth during these terrible times. He is coming very soon, so please understand what times we are in. And be encouraged that we are so close to His coming. Very, very close. <sighs> One more verse. This is some proof about that we are going to come before the tribulation, that He will come to rescue our, the bride before the tribulation. Shoot, I lost my marker. Oops. Let me see. 
Okay, let's see. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Now, this is talking to the faithful church. Let's see. Because, or the church of Philadelphia. Because you have kept my commandment to persevere, I also will uh, I also keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown. I gave you an extra verse there, but okay. Let's see. He's going to keep us from the time, the hour of trial, the tribulation. Please be encouraged that those who are in faith will be will not be in the tribulation. But I, I tell you to take action to follow him in these last days so that you may be raptured and we may be in peace and faith in heaven. We will have our new bodies. This is encouraging for us who are in Christ. So please, those who are not in Christ, come to him. Please, learn to live with him and repent. He will forgive you of all your sins and he will help you to follow him until the end of the days. So please understand that we are so close to this coming. Please come to him now.